So we got the back panel, this Sony flat screen TV here. I pulled it out of a dumpster. It's, uh, it's about five feet tall this way. I got it all torn apart here because the problem was the TV would come on and then it would go off. You press the power button, come on, then go off. It drove me insane. Um, and so I took it apart. I cleaned, I disconnected power. Step one, always disconnect power. I cleaned everything with rubbing alcohol, took the boards right off, cleaned them real good, air blued, air fanned real good. That wasn't the problem. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm really hard to give up. So I'm just tethering off of my tablet, as you can see. Uh, power so what I've done is th this is a moody TV and I don't have a remote so what I've discovered is a you got to plug in and do nothing for five minutes let it warm up that's step one step two gently press the power button don't do anything else you heel click and it'll come on and then it should stay on if it doesn't then this is what I found that works. Power down the unit, unplug the power, so there's no power on the board. On the display, this is the display chip right here, the graphic strip, okay? This strip right here, communication strip, goes right here. So you don't have to remove all this. I disconnected it here because I was going to clean this. You can disconnect it here. I don't recommend you do any of this. This is what I do. Let me start over. Don't do what I do because I'm no professional. What I did is I disconnected this sucker from this side here. Okay, and I tried multiple different ways. When I disconnected this display cable and I plugged in the power and I turned on, I waited five minutes and I turned on the unit, the screen came on and stayed on. And then we got some different colors that came green and it was just solid colors on the screen. With the communication cable, HDMI to the computer, still no display. I plugged the strip back in to the display board. Didn't change anything. There was absolutely no display. It was just, uh, just the color. So like you can see right through right here, there's a white screen right now. Okay. The screen is on so it was just solid colors underneath <clears throat> so I powered down the unit unplugged the power I reconnected it here so next time I'll do it up here if I have this problem again reconnected it replugged in the power waited five minutes Gently push the power button, and there is a click from the relay, and it came on and worked perfectly. Then I waited about five ten minutes, and yes, the screen stayed on. And extended uh, duplicate screens. I'm running from computer to here's duplicate screens. I press and hold the power button. It's the one in the middle until it shuts off. I release. I waited five ten minutes. I press the power button, relay clicked, screen came on and stayed on. I now have a working TV. I was told it was the board. Okay, again, what I did, unplug power, unplug this cord here, plug it back in, wait five minutes, turn on power, Relay clicks, comes on, solid white or green or red colors underneath. Plug in, data cord back in, properly power down, hold button till it shuts off. Disconnect power, wait five minutes, reconnect power, wait five minutes. Press the power button, click relay, comes on and works perfectly. Good luck. Don't do this. I recommend you don't. But I have a working screen. Oh, 
Is it on right now? Yeah, see, there. <laughs> Just so I'm, you don't think I'm kidding, but yeah. So the screen's working perfectly fine as uh, duplicate screens right now. You can see that. See? Okay. Good luck, everybody.